sky is the limit for drones to be used here for any emergency setting. We've started here as a company in uh, late 2018. Uh, so what we do here is uh, tracking monitoring management for vehicles in the country. As well as supporting Vanuatu whenever there is a disaster. What happened in uh, 2015 during Cyclone Pam was that uh, there was a lot of uh, stealing taking place. So what we did with our system was customize it to so monitor all the, uh, the vehicles, all the routes and so forth and have a really uh, good robust uh, monitoring system for the deliverance. And families who are supposed to receive the support are not uh, being left out. We are now using drones to fly medications. Uh, it's being used uh, here in the islands uh, with the support of UNICEF. The drone itself can be thought of as a base, as a vehicle. There are many things you can attach to it so that you do many different things with it. Depending on what kind of system you use, some can carry payload, but how much payload can they carry? And some of them are light enough to just go and get information. However, at some point, you still need to send some humans in because drones, because of their nature, can't necessarily do everything. So complementarity is key. After a disaster, instead of you know, flying a team over and do the monitoring, we could use a drone. It will cost you less in terms of manpower. Uh, you know, we could fly and cover a big area and you could zoom in with all our footage and literally see a cat. We as a country, we are still uh, not utilizing all the technology that is available. We could give a better eagle eye view as far as the drone is concerned of a better footage which might result in better response to a disaster affected area.